SpaceX just revealed a game-changing approach that could kill orbital refueling entirely. While NASA struggles with Artemis 3's never-before-tested fuel transfers in space, Musk quietly embraced a forgotten 1960s Nova rocket design that promises direct lunar flights. But here's what most people are missing. This isn't just about simplifying missions. There's something much bigger at play that could accelerate moon landings by years. Why would SpaceX sacrifice their signature reusability? What makes this 60-year-old concept so brilliant? Today, we're revealing the genius strategy behind this potential pivot and why it might be exactly what humanity needs to get back to the moon fast. Here's what SpaceX discovered that changes everything. While NASA's Artemis 3 requires up to 10 separate Starship launches just to fuel a single lunar lander in orbit, the Nova-inspired approach needs exactly one launch. Think of it like this. Instead of building a gas station in space and making multiple trips to fill up your car, you simply drive straight to your destination with a full tank. The numbers reveal the engineering breakthrough most people miss. Nova's original 1960s design called for eight F-1 engines producing 62,000 kilonewtons of thrust. Today's Starship Super Heavy delivers 73,500 kilonewtons from 33 Raptor engines. That's 18% more raw power than Nova ever dreamed of achieving. But here's the genius move that kills orbital refueling. SpaceX realized they could strip away Starship's reusability hardware the heat shields, grid fins, and landing legs that add massive weight. In lunar configuration, this saves approximately 20 to 30 tons of dry mass. Add a compact third stage nestled in Starship's 1,100 cubic meter payload bay, and suddenly you have Nova-like capability without redesigning the entire rocket. The propellant mathematics are staggering. Standard Starship carries 1,200 tons of methane and oxygen, but must reserve 200 tons for Earth landing. In expendable Nova mode, every kilogram goes toward lunar injection. That extra 200 tons translates to 15 to 20 tons additional payload to lunar transfer orbit, enough to match or exceed what took Saturn V three stages to accomplish. And here's what few people realize. This approach eliminates NASA's biggest Artemis bottleneck. Orbital refueling has never been proven at operational scale. Each operation involves precise docking with fully loaded tanker vehicles, cryogenic fluid management in zero gravity, and complex orbital choreography. One failure in the 10 launch sequence delays missions by months. Why would SpaceX sacrifice their signature reusability philosophy? Because they discovered something remarkable. The shortest path to the moon isn't always the most elegant one. Sometimes it's the path with the highest probability of success. But this is just the beginning. What's really surprising is how this decision exposes a fundamental flaw in the entire space industry's approach. This Nova revival isn't just technical brilliance. It's a calculated strategic strike that reshapes the entire competitive landscape. While competitors struggle with complex orbital infrastructure, SpaceX potentially leapfrogs the refueling bottleneck entirely. Consider what this means for NASA's timeline crisis. Artemis 3 is scheduled for mid-2027, but NASA's own analysis warns of a 1 in 3 chance orbital refueling won't be ready before late 2026. Nova Starship provides the backup plan that didn't exist six months ago, and it could actually be faster than the original plan. The economic implications are brutal for competitors. Boeing's SLS costs $4.1 billion per launch, according to NASA's Inspector General, delivering 27 tons to lunar transfer orbit. Nova Starship could potentially match this payload at under $100 million per launch, a 40 times cost advantage that makes traditional aerospace economics obsolete. But there's a detail most people overlook that reveals the true genius. SpaceX isn't abandoning orbital refueling. They're creating optionality. Master the simpler Nova approach for lunar missions while developing refueling for Mars missions where it's absolutely essential. Mars requires Delta V that no single-stage vehicle can provide. The Defense Innovation Unit is watching closely. Gary Henry, former SpaceX executive turned senior advisor, put it perfectly. Being able to maneuver in ways your adversaries can't, that's a decisive edge. Nova Starship means rapid, unpredictable payload deployment anywhere in the solar system 
without telegraphing intentions through complex orbital operations. And here's what's truly revolutionary. This approach changes launch cadence requirements fundamentally. Instead of orchestrating 10-plus launches over months for a single lunar mission, Nova Starship enables rapid-fire lunar access. Launch windows become less critical when you're not coordinating multiple vehicle rendezvous operations. The ripple effects throughout the industry will be seismic. Orbital refueling infrastructure represents billions in development costs across multiple contractors. If Nova Starship proves viable, much of this investment becomes unnecessary for lunar missions, forcing industry-wide strategic reassessment. And here's why this changes everything about human space exploration. What we're witnessing isn't just a tactical adjustment. It's the birth of a dual architecture philosophy that could dominate the next two decades of space exploration. SpaceX is building two parallel highways, Nova Starship for reliable lunar access and refueled Starship for deep space missions. This addresses space exploration's fundamental paradox, complexity versus capability. Nova Starship minimizes failure points for lunar operations, while orbital refueling opens the entire solar system. The question isn't why SpaceX would accept expendable limitations, it's why no one thought of this elegant solution before. The long-term implications are staggering. If Nova Starship succeeds, SpaceX creates a template for rapid planetary access throughout the solar system. Venus missions, asteroid mining, Jupiter moon exploration, all become feasible when you eliminate refueling complexity from mission timelines. But here's the masterstroke that even industry experts are missing. This approach accelerates human settlement timelines by creating reliable, repeatable resource access. The moon transforms from destination to stepping stone, a proving ground for Mars colony techniques. The competitive response will be fascinating. Traditional contractors built lunar strategies around complex orbital operations and specialized vehicles. Nova Starship potentially makes this infrastructure obsolete for lunar missions, forcing complete strategic pivots. However, significant challenges remain that could derail this vision. Expendable operations conflict with SpaceX's core philosophy and cost reduction goals. Each Nova mission costs $90 to $100 million in hardware versus $10 to $20 million for reusable operations. The economic trade-off only works if operational simplicity delivers mission success rates that justify the expense. There's also the timeline convergence factor. SpaceX must demonstrate Nova capability within 18 months while advancing refueling technology simultaneously. Success positions them as the dominant force in human space exploration. Failure opens gaps competitors could exploit. What happens next determines whether we're seeing temporary tactics or fundamental architecture shift. But one thing is certain, SpaceX just gave humanity a backup plan for lunar return that transforms impossible timelines into achievable goals. The genius isn't just in the engineering, it's in recognizing that sometimes the most advanced solution is knowing when not to use your most advanced technology. This is exactly why Elon Musk's Nova approach isn't just about getting to the moon faster, it's about proving that the best path forward sometimes means going back to fundamentals. While the industry chased complexity, SpaceX found elegance in simplicity. What this means for space exploration is profound. We're not just looking at a backup plan for Artemis III. We're seeing the emergence of a dual architecture future where reliable lunar access becomes routine while we develop the advanced technologies needed for Mars. It's the difference between visiting space and living there. And this is just the beginning. SpaceX plans to test Nova Starship configurations within the next 18 months while simultaneously advancing orbital refueling. If both paths succeed, humanity gains unprecedented flexibility in space operations. Choose simplicity for speed or complexity for capability. The real question isn't whether this approach will work. It's how quickly other space agencies will adapt their strategies once they realize the game has changed. This is Space Hub where we break down the engineering decisions that shape humanity's future beyond Earth. The space race isn't about national pride anymore. It's about opening the solar system for everyone. What do you think happens when lunar access becomes as routine as satellite launches? That future might be closer than we think.